Welcome back everybody to Franklin High School for the Pacific Office Automation Holiday Classic. Game number four coming to you live from Franklin. This one we've got the Camus Papermakers taking on the Clackamas Cavaliers. Big, big matchup here this evening. Fourth game of the night for us. Over across town, the Lincoln squad is on live with their second game of the day as well. They've got Forest Grove taking on West Lynn. As always, the Pacific Office Automation Holiday Classic title sponsor, Pacific Office Automation. Dedicated to the belief that a team of individuals who constantly challenge each other will develop the skills and manpower necessary to solve any problem, whether it's for the customer, the company, or the community. Pacific Office Automation started out in 1976 in Portland, Oregon, selling copy machines, actual copy machines. And 44 years later, they are consistently recognized as a leader in office management solutions. They offer state-of-the-art technology and award-winning customer service that has helped them grow to 25 offices throughout Oregon, Washington, California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, Idaho, and Colorado. If you want to learn more about the solutions they can provide you, check them out at pacificoffice.com. Got a little bit of lead time coming into this one here, which is going to give me an opportunity to thank our presenting sponsors before we get too far into the starting lineup rotation here. Our good friends over at Directors Mortgage, they take that community first, people focused approach to the business of making home ownership dreams come true. They're dedicated to improving the lives of everyone around them, whether that means their clients, neighbors, or the members of their own team. And you, if you want to see what a difference it makes to work with a local lender with the presence of your community as one of their branch locations anywhere across the Western United States, or check them out at directorsmortgage.com. Come. Also want to thank our friends at BSN Sports with the widest selection of athletic gear from all the top brands at great prices with fast shipping. Visit bsnsports.com to see what the country's largest distributor for sports apparel and equipment can do for your team. Quality goods since 1972, factory direct gear, satisfaction guaranteed. BSN Sports is at the heart of your game. And we've got our friends, our good friends over at Nike. They are dedicated to championing continual progress for athletes and sport by taking action to help athletes and their communities reach their full potential. Thanks to continued support of Nike, the PIL athletic community, and the Pacific Office Automation Holiday Class have grown in both size and capability year in and year out. And we are so incredibly grateful to have Nike in our backyard and on our team. Huge, huge thanks to Nike. All right, that's going to set the table for Camus taking on Clackamas, the 5 o'clock game, live from Franklin. Starting lineups are getting set here. Diamond bracket, semifinal game. Starting lineup for the designated visiting team, Clackamas Cavaliers. Going to start out with number one, Avery Peterson. Number two, Ryan Mogul. Number 15, Eliza Burke. Number 25, Sarah Barhoom. And number 33, Jazzy Davidson. And on the other side for the Papermakers, number two, Kendall Mares. Number three, Riley Sands. Number four, Sophie Buzzard. Number 33, Addison Harris. And number 35, Kiara Thompson. Eight minutes on the clock. Semifinal matchup set. Both these squads coming in after big wins yesterday. Camus absolutely jumped all over to Walton and pulled away at the end, 42 to 37. And of course, Clackamas, you saw here, putting the damper on Wilsonville, 75 to 28. So Kellen, it's gonna be an interesting one here to start us off tonight. Should be a great matchup. 
And with the tip, Papermakers ready to make some paper. <laughs> Big trap up top at midcourt. And there's a steal breaking away the other direction. Tight bucket, missed layup, and going back the other way. Number 35 for Camus, Kara Thompson. Kicks it to the outside. Three for three, Riley Sands. Camus on top, three nothing here with 7.20 to go in the first. Jazzy goes lefty, buckets for Davidson. So closes the gap to three to two. Turnover on the exchange there. And Clackamas connects again up four to three. That one just a little bit too much. And out of reach. Take a quick second here on the replay. Look at this three, just nice, solid, smooth, wide open buckets. Inbound. And a repost, not gonna make it. Quick little replay here. Jazzy going left hand on that last bucket for Clackamas. Nice soft touch on the release there. Camus headed the other direction. Nice feed underneath. Good look. Papermakers go up. Five to four. Kara Thompson. And Addison Harris underneath. Big three from the corner. Number 15, Eliza Burke. A little bit of a shooting gallery here to start things out, Kay. Three off the back rim. Jazzy going the other direction. No look past the corner right where she was last time. Hits it again. This time, though, it's Sarah Barhoom. That's the hot corner for the Cavs. It's going to be a timeout, Clackamas. So running and gunning here early. Cavaliers hitting a couple of monster three-pointers. Back-to-back threes. Check this out. Okay, Jazzy coming down. Great court awareness. No look to the corner. Dish. Bucket. All kinds of space all day long. I see you nodding your head in approval, so. Yeah, I mean, if they can keep up this shooting, there's not really anything Camus can do. 10 to five, Clackamas on top. Camus with the early timeout, trying to keep things close here. 6.05 remaining in the first quarter. Earrings coming out, a little bit of a technical malfunction there for Kendall Mares, number two. And make a quick little slot there, Parker Mayers. Parker bringing it up. Having to go to work against Avery Peterson. So a little hand check foul against Avery there. That's gonna be her first, first team foul and first foul of the game. Kira Thompson now going to work up top. Jazzy with the reach, gets it. Step back, shot up and good, and oh boy. She starts heating up. Cam is gonna be in trouble. Nice crossover, dribble drive to the hoop, draws the foul, she'll be going to shoot two. Number five for the papermakers, Parker Mayers. First foul on Elijah Burke, her first, second team foul. Transition now the other way, Jazzy taking it all the way to the rack. Just a little thin on the lift. 
Tie up though, Ooh, and they're gonna call foul on Davidson. Oh, I take that back. They're gonna call it on Burke, that's her second. So she's gonna have to take a seat here early. She's drawn two with 5.21 to go here in the first. Trap up at half court. And Candace can't quite break it. Clackamas with the turnover. Twelve five Cavaliers on top of the papermakers. And they're back in business. Ryan Mogul. Good denial from Addison Harris there on Davidson. They just play a little lock-off defense as best they can, keep Jazzy away from the basket. She's got a bushel of points already. Going left hand, stutter step, falls back. That one doesn't quite roll. Candace in transition now, going the other way. Shots up, shot is good. Number 33, Addison Harris, put two, closing the gap, makes it 12-7. Clackamas on top. Again, pushing that tempo like they do. Mogul going hard at the rack. Nice rotation and comeback. I mean, what are you going to do about that? That is just all sorts of skill and control for Mogul. Four minutes gone by, four minutes left in the first. Nice step and shot. That one just wants to sit on the back of the rim. Oh, and coming through late on the rebound and drawing a foul. Good work there, number five for the papermakers, Parker Mayers. Look at Mogul here on the replay, Kellen. Just rotate, step back. Goes right back at it. Spin inside, spin back, step across, bucket. I mean, that just great really, defense, better shot. Really nothing you can do there, unfortunately. Sophia Buzzer gave it her all, but not quite enough. A little strong off the back iron. Step side, nice look underneath. Excellent pass. pass and play. Camus keeping it close here, trailing 14 to nine. Plays like that are gonna keep him in business. But then Clackamas answers again with another field goal of their own, 16 to nine Cavs. 3.30 left to play in the first. Oh, the give and go and Clackamas was all over that one. Nice crossover step, got a good look at it. Deep shot, rattles off the back of the iron for Barhoom, heading the other direction now. Good patience, good ball movement from Camus, not getting too out, stretched. Open opportunity for Parker Mares, and Mares buries it. Fast moving quarter, not a lot of stoppage time here. Jazzy crashing in, thinks better of it, pulls back. Clackamas keeps it. Mogul up top with the push off and the step through. Wow, getting aggressive down there, I like it. Ryan Mogul and Kendall Mayer is going head to head on the replay here. Basket, long rebound, nice feed on the baseline and Buckets from a moment ago, Kendall Mayers. This entire gym just went dead silent on that free throw. <laughs> it was almost offsetting how quiet it was. Kendall Mayers set up for a second one. And that one rolls off the outside. Big fight on the edge. Pass underneath inside, a little strong. So 
So foul on number two, Kendall Mares, her second, second team foul. So what was a pretty clean quarter thus far, gotten a little choppy here. Kendall's gonna take a seat with two fouls, doesn't wanna pick up that third with two minutes left in the first, gotta keep her available. Feet up top to Peterson, Peterson. Big kick out outside. And pushing tempo going the other way. Kara Thompson. Thompson. Hot hand to number three. Riley Sands with another three ball. Makes it 17-15. And then Clackamas answers, making it 19-15 again with another shot from Mogul. So field goal percentage off the charts here. Big block from Jazzy on Addison Harris. Nice baseline drive. Oh, they're going to get on the travel. She lost it on the dribble a little bit too, so it could have gone either way, but Clackham is good defense, good pressure. Heck of a start to this one, K. 34 combined points already in the first quarter. we still got a minute 20 to go. And they've been difficult shots too. I mean, every shot they're taking, they're leaning and just making every single one of them just like that. Leaner on the runner, trying to draw the offensive foul. Ref swallowing the whistles on this one early. I kind of like it. Let him play. Triple drive penetration. Wow. My goodness. Soft touch from Kira Thompson off the glass. Puts it in, keeping it a four-point game. Clackamas, again, ask, answer, ask, and she does it again. Ryan Mogul has had that. Almost same move four times now, and she's converted on three of them. She is on fire here, early goings of the first. Nice slide on the pump fake, just a little bit short, need a little more lift on that. Coming back the other way now. Jazzy near side corner, wide open layup, nice left side, and Clackamas. Jumps ahead by eight, 25-17, closing moments of the first here after a couple big conversions. High post feed to Harris. Harris getting harassed. Big shot, big three, that one well short, short on time though, so. End of the first, Clackamas 25, Camus 17. Watch the replay here on this one. Just almost got her feet. Good contact. I mean, either no call or a block, one of the two, but excellent work from Mogul on that one. So end of one, Clackamas leads it 25-17 over Camus. Want to thank our supporting sponsors here tonight. Help bringing us out. The Orthopedic and Fracture Clinic, helping put your life into motion. Orthopedic and Fracture Specialists believe that a well-lived life tends to be an active one, but sometimes that can lead to injuries to bones, joints, cartilage, or everything in between. That's where the orthopedic fracture specialists come in. Their team of physicians are passionate about their work and compassionate for their patients. And they're here to help you put your life into motion. Give them a call at 503-214-5200 or visit them at orthopedicandfracturespecialists.com. Also want to thank our friends down at She Flies. She Flies with her own wings, named after our state motto connecting all the girls and women across Oregon to sports participation and creating inclusive communities through their programs, partnerships, and network. She Flies makes sports more accessible and inclusive for girls and women by prioritizing empowerment, inclusivity, partnership, accessibility, and impact. To learn more, head over to sheflies.org. Jazzy going lefty off the glass and one. I mean, that's just tough to stop. What are you going to do with that? Good defense. Can't quite pull it back. Jazzy goes left. That quick first step generates contact. Gets the and one. She is fired up, too. And one is up. And one rattles out. 
Nice save. Parker Mares able to pull it back in. Keep it with Clackamas. Limit the damage here early, but tying it up on the floor, jump ball. Good hustle from number 10, Allie Roden from Clackamas. Tying it up with Sophie Buzzard. 7.33 to go here, and Clackamas up by 10. Camus on the inbound. Triple dive, shot from the outside. Three is just a little bit strong. Cavs in transition. Nice jump on that pass. Almost had the steal was Kira Thompson. But it's going to stay with Clackamas. Nice roll back going up with it. Just a little bit strong off the side. Transition opportunity here for Camus. Try and make it a single digit game again, which they can't quite get. That shot looked really good. Jazzy going right at the rack. Rattles another one home. So Jazzy Davidson on fire here early. I mean, the defenses just can't keep up with these guys on offense. It's, it's quite impressive. Yeah, it has been uh, the all Clackamas show here in the last about four minutes. If you're just joining us, welcome to Franklin, game four. Coming out of the gate, Camus Clackamas neck and neck there for a little while, but Camus started to pull away ever so slightly here with a 12 point lead, 6.40 to go in the second quarter. Denial on the inbound making it tough. Camus got to go backcourt to get it over. Big shot, not quite where she wanted it. Addison Harris, a little bit wide. Clackamas pushing the tempo and the transition, and they're going to call her for the push off on the offensive foul. So a little bit too hot coming in, Sarah Barhoom. So keep an eye on that. That is the sixth team foul for the Cavs. Next one puts Camus in the one on one bonus with 6.20 and change to go here. Letting the hand checks go, and Avery Peterson is absolutely pestering Kira Thompson. Inside out, and that's your seventh team foul. Going to be going to the line, Riley Sands. So first foul on Mogul, seventh team foul on the Cavs. Second one is good. Makes it 29-18. Clackamas on top, right at the rack again, and another and one opportunity. Man, Clackamas is just relentless here. They're just crushing them in transition here. They just can't keep up on defense. They're fouling, they're getting scored on. I mean, there's nothing they can do. Shot just a bit off the mark on the free throw there, so it'll stay at 31-18 with 5.50 to go here in the second. Kier Thompson showing off those handles. Kicks over to Mares. Mares up top. Three ball is no good. Contested rebound. On the replay here, coming in that transition we were just talking about. Mogul just right at it. Attack, all attack. Getting it done. Back to live action on the inbound. Mogul with the kick out to Peterson. Peterson, good look, couldn't quite put it in. And we're gonna get a push off foul on Burks. That's two on her now. 
I take that back, that's her third, but it's the eighth team foul for Clackamas, so Camus is getting close to shooting double bonus. Make some free throws, try and take this 13 point lead down to something high or mid single digits. If you're Camus, but you gotta make your free throws. Couldn't quite put that one home, Brianna Forbes. Jazzy with the rotate and the reverse lefty. Man, what are you, what are you gonna do with that? And the confidence to take that shot is just, honestly, it's insane. She is something else here. Coming back, wheel it, and back up. Lefty falling away. Jazzy Davidson on top with her Cavalier teammates. 5.05 to go here. 18 points for Camus. 33 for the Cavs. Take a minute while we got the timeout here, full timeout, to thank our supporting sponsors, the Portland Public School District. Founded in 1851 with more than 49,000 students today and over 81 schools are one of the largest districts in the Pacific Northwest. They provide rigorous, high-quality academic learning experiences that are inclusive and joyful. They disrupt those racial inequities to create vibrant environments for every student to demonstrate excellence. And they do this with a combination of things, starting with their highly trained teachers and staff, engaging with the parent community, and then strong business and external partnerships that focus on closing the racial educational achievement gap. Big, big thanks to PPS. Got a second here. We also want to thank our friends at Providence Sports Medicine. Just saw my good friend Chris Von Wagner earlier here tonight. Providence known for caring for people of all ages. They strive to provide both prevention and treatment of injuries ranging from cramps to concussions and everything in between. If you need help from sports medicine specialists, 365 days a year, seven days a week, Give them a ring at 503-29-SPORT or visit providenceoregon.org slash sportsmedicine. Foul on the ground is going to be number nine. So Jazzy's first foul, ninth team foul. The pacing that we had here in the early first goings of the first quarter, Kellen, is basically ground to a halt. Yeah. Started off high offense, no stoppage in play, and now barely getting one possession without a foul. You got to hit those free throws. Good offensive rebound, though, and then turnover in the lane. Just jumped it with Barhoom. Smart play from Sarah. Goes right at the rack, kick to the outside, shot from Peterson. Another, Peterson. Another transition bucket for Clackamas. Buries a three. So, I mean, that's, you know, effectively a four point swing. You missed the one and one and you give up a three on the other end. Looking to answer, almost got it. Riley Sands is close, Mares. Inbound opportunity here for Camus. Gonna look to close that gap. Try and keep this from getting any further away from him. Big inbound. If you're watching from home, we got a game going on in the upper court, the JV bracket. So sometimes you hear that horn. It's not on the main game here, it's on the up top. Catches everybody off guard early on. Nice roll and roundabout she goes. Number 33, Addison Harris. Grabbing the loose ball and making something happen. Turnover opportunity here coming the way. Nice, no look behind the back. Smart pass in that situation if you're asking me. Nice little four point run here for the Papermakers. Foul underneath on number five. Quick little replay here on that last two, two canvas buckets ago. Just picking up the loose ball, rolling it all the way in. Nice heads up play from Addison. Too much space. A little bit too strong. She was almost too open. I think Camus got lucky on that one. 
Crossover up top from Kira Thomas. Thompson feeds Sands. Sands trying to make something happen, draws another foul. So that'll be double bonus here for the next 315. here on that last clock, Camus Bucket. Nice little pick and steal from Kira Thompson. Goes right at Jazzy, no look behind the back. Buckets for Harris. I mean, you only get one point for the assist, but you know, we'll give her an extra bonus point for the style on that. So Riley Sands looking to close this to a 12 point differential. She sets up for the second free throw which she puts in, bottom of the net. Great shot from Sands, makes it 36-24. Clackamas with 3.15 to go here. Deep three, that one's coming off the back iron. Kind of an odd kickball there on the rebound, but able to reel it back in as Sands. Sands feeds Thompson, Thompson up in the near court. Trying to get that wrap around. Oh, oh there wow. it is. Man, she wanted that bad too. You just see it. Jazzy setting up shop the other way. Not quite enough to get in. Thompson looking for a little bit of help. Good movement, good backside cut. Addison Harris. Uh, Clackham is faithful. All right, watch this. Baseline take. With the little reach around and the reverse layup on the wrap. Getting it done. Addison. Smooth as silk on that free throw makes it a 10 point game here. 226 left, so Addison could put this second one in. Bring it back to single digits for the first time in quite a while. Which she does. That's that miserably tight rim on the end in there. Able to get them both down. Makes it 36 28. Nice high flow offense up top. Clackamas now. Camus can put this in. It'll be a nice little run for Camus to close the gap. That is going to make it tough. Tipped out. Buzzer trying for it. Can't quite get it. Jazzy in transition going the other way. Lefty is money as always. Nice little give and go on the baseline wow. with the wrap around. Here's the outlet pass in that last one. Jazzy up front with the left. No problemo. High screen and roll. Addison trying to get across it. Having a devil of a time. Can't quite find and that's the answer on the other direction. So a little bit of breathing room and then Clackamas just sucks the air right back out of it. Forty-five seconds, quick hands, aggressive hands there. Number two, Ryan Mogul. Mogul with a steal and a layup. Just a suffocating defense by Clackamas this first half. Makes it forty-two to thirty. A 
little bit too much body there, I think. Yeah. So we're gonna get Ryan Mogul with a body check. Quick replay here, a couple plays ago for Camus. There's that back door. Nice, just silky smooth, getting it done. Do a little bit, not quite enough legs. Riley Sands, I think she wants that one back. Taking a seat with her third foul is Ryan Mogul, something to keep an eye on here in the second half. Second one is good, and that makes it 42 to 31. Clackamas on top with 24 seconds to go here. in the second quarter. Nice slide step. That left side has been wide open all game for Clackamas. They keep attacking it. Something they saw on Camus's backside defense is just giving them every opportunity with the left. And a big three-point answer right there brings it back to a 10-point game. So there you have it. Clackamas comes down, thinking they stretch the lead back out to 10, and Camus going to answer again, 44 to 34. Camus trails Clackamas. Look at this, though. Clack going left side, splits it, left hand up, and good, and then going right back the other direction. Short on time. Plenty of patience. Mares takes the screen. Step back three, get you some of that. What a brilliant, brilliant finish for Camus to keep it at just 10 points. We got 10 minutes on the clock for halftime. We're going to reset, reload, take care of a couple things, and invite you to do the same. We'll see you back for second half action here from Franklin in about 10 minutes, so don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Pacific Office Automation Holiday Classic coming to you live from Franklin High School. First half in the book, second half getting set to get underway. Big, big thanks to our title sponsor, Pacific Office Automation, dedicated to the belief that a team of individuals that constantly challenge each other to develop the skills and manpower necessary to solve any problem, whether it's for the customer, the company, or the community. Pacific Office Automation started in 1976 in Portland, Oregon, selling copy machines, like actual copy machines that took a piece of paper or picture and then copied it. Not like copy the horse, but copy the copy machine. And 44 years later, they are consistently recognized as a leader in office management solutions, offering state-of-the-art technology and award-winning customer service that has helped them grow to 25 offices throughout Oregon, Washington, California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, Idaho, and Colorado. If you want to visit their website to learn more about the solutions, that they can provide you, check them out at pacificoffice.com. Coming out of the break, leading all scorers right there with the ball and trying to put another two on the board, can't quite do it, was Jazzy Davidson, 16 points, four rebounds for her, eight for 11 from the field. Absolutely outstanding in that first half. But right behind her, Ryan Mogul with 13 of her own. She was perfect from the field, Kellen. Six for six for Mogul in that first half. See if she can keep it up in the second. I mean, with plays like or with players like that, should be a win for Clackamas. Man, Sarah Barhoom, no slouch of her own, hitting another three on the outside for the Camas Papermakers. Addison Harris leading their scores with 12, five for seven from the field, and four big rebounds for her, as well as two for two from the free throw line. And then Riley Sands with 10 points, seven rebounds for Riley to go with her two assists. We talked about this last game, and the big indicator of this game here, when you look at the turnover differential, Camus had nine turnovers they gave up in the first. Clackham has only given up three, so it gets very difficult to stay in the game when you're giving up a lot of extra possessions to the other team with those turnovers. Yeah, for sure. Clackham has had six steals in the first half. Really hard to keep up with defense like that. And oh, going for the no-look right pass behind, and Clack was able to snag that one. Jazzy, coast to coast, puts it away. We're getting a timeout. Yeah, that's a good timeout there from Camus. So what was a 10-point lead at half is now stretched back to 15. Forty-nine, thirty-four. Clackamas on top of Camus. Cam is trying to make something happen here. Bring a little fire back into their players. Get back into this one. Foul on number one, Avery Peterson. So second foul for Avery. First team foul here in the third. Trap is on and bleeds out. Clackamas going the other direction. Six minutes to go here, 49-34. Double clutch, sidestep, a little bit of body. Couldn't quite get the shot to go down. Feed up top to Sands. Sands skips the screen this time hands off to Addison Addison goes underneath oh draws contact back up on Jazzy for second chance opportunity and she puts it in so Burke playing with three fouls back in the game here trying to get her rhythm going after having taken early seat in that first half 
Skip past the near side, little tight on the shot. Tell you what, that has been a battle all night. Sarah Barhoom and Kira Thompson have been just going head to head. Nice high screen roll, good look underneath, touch pass tipped and yep, foot on the line on the out of bounds. So unfortunately not gonna make that one. Even took out the last couple chairs on the end of the bench there. And here come the Cavs, leading it by 13 with 4.45 to go here. Jazzy Davidson up top. Shot from the corner, rattles out. Um, you know, just a lot of physical pull and push, and we got a... We're gonna get a side out. I don't think they called a technical on the coach, but I think that was a very stern, let's take a second here and not talk anymore, warning. Yeah, Camus coach quite vocal so far. Not very happy with his players, apparently. Well, I think he's unhappy with He's unhappy with Kira all of Thompson it, to be getting honest. pulled out of the key <laughs> on that rebound and not able to maintain her position without a foul call. So when it rains, it pours sometimes. Jazzy, ooh, that one, I don't even think that got tipped. Gonna be fouled to the outside. Lots of people on the floor. Yeah, it, it's it's not getting chippy, it's just kind of getting like a little bit sloppy. You know, the, the teams are still playing hard and being positive, but I think it's just getting a little bit of sloppy because it's 13 points and a little, a little weird here. Looking to settle things down, Kira Thompson. The sophomore guard for the Papermakers. Nice roll from Addison. Oh, just couldn't quite finish. Needs a little more lift under that, but that was a good look and a good spin. Pass deflected in the near court. The near side over. Peterson working it. That's that little trap up top. Beating it with the pass. Good feed inside to Mogul. Mogul back out. Three from Allie Roden. Roden can't quite get it, but tapping it to herself. Eliza Burke keeps it alive. Back to Jazzy. Jazzy goes up left hand and can't quite get it. Harris had position on the rebound, but just not quite enough left, having to do so much work on defense. Got to think the legs are getting a little bit tired here. Three for number two, Kendall Mares. Kendall brings it back to 10 point game and a steal on the inbound, Kara Thompson. So eight point game now. Looking like a little five point swing for you there, Kay. Yeah, I mean, they're bringing it closer. They really, I think they could have it this time. I think they could really close the gap. The foul there on Riley Sands got caught, fell falling away, reaching and here we go on that replay. Three from the outside. Gonna be a nice little dump off here. Wide open, bucket. Now, Clackamas kinda not really thinking about it, just blah, kind of a lazy inbound pass and Kier Thompson snaked it out of there. Jazzy on the give and go up top. She gonna draw the foul on Addison Harris. I gotta actively remind myself, Jazzy is only a sophomore. Yeah. Crazy, crazy good for somebody who can barely drive a car with a learner's permit <laughs> right now. I was gonna say one thing I uh, noticed on defense for Camus. They're trying to trap the Clackamas players, but they have great court vision. They're aware of where the double's coming from and they've found their teammates every single time on offense. Yeah, they're just kind of waiting for that trap to get in just enough for them to set their own hook and release. Timeout Clackamas as they are back up by 10. 51-41 here. Live from Franklin High School. Get a chance here during the timeout. Thank a couple of our presenting sponsors, starting with Director's Mortgage. Good friends at Directors Mortgage been with us from the beginning, taking that community first, people focused approach to the business of making home ownership dreams come true. They're a local lender with branch locations all across the Western US. 
and the Director's Mortgage team members are going to provide you with the service and personal touch you need so they can create a customized solution using their robust portfolio of lending options. Check them out at directorsmortgage.com. We also want to thank our friends at BSN Sports with the widest selection of athletic gear from all the top brands and great prices with fast shipping. Visit BSN Sports to see what the country's largest distributor of sports apparel and equipment can do for your team. Quality goods since 1972, factory direct gear, satisfaction guaranteed. BSN Sports is at the heart of your game. And I'd be remiss without thanking our good, good friends at Nike. Dedicated to championing continual progress for athletes in sport by taking action to help those athletes in their communities reach their full potential. Thanks to Nike's continued support of both the PIL athletic community and the Pacific Office Automation Holiday Classic community. We've been able to grow in size and capability year in and year out and are incredibly grateful to not only have Nike in our backyard, but also on our team. Big thanks to Nike. Turnover off the timeout. Clackham's going the other way. And missed on the layup opportunity. Going to be out of bounds. Camus will get a chance and another crack at it here. Good, good to see right out of the timeout. You know, you missed the layup, but before that, you immediately got the steal in the passing lane right after the timeout. It's good to see that they were able to talk and figure out their defensive strategy. High post feed, kick to the wing. Cam is trying to find something. They got a lane right there and a look and a big block coming over the top. Wide open Kendall Mares. Jazzy with that long six foot five ish wingspan able to get in there. Mm, boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I think the Camus coach might come unglued on this one. Ready to go replay, going up. I mean, Jazzy jumped into her arms, but that was pretty, pretty solid defense from Addison there. Another free throw rolls out, so a couple of rare misses. Jazzy from the line here today. Still though, 53-41, Clackamas on top of Camus with under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Dribble drive going left, not quite enough on it to get it over Clackamas with the rebound. Number two, Ryan Mogul finding Avery Peterson. Peterson finds Jazzy on the outside. Steps up to the free throw extended. I'm gonna call a foul on Kendall Mares. Her fourth, fourth team foul. Jazzy at the line, set to shoot a pair. Hits the first. Setting up for the second. Just as good as the first. So back to a 14 point lead here. It wasn't but three minutes ago that we were inside single digits. Canaso can't seem to keep it consistent, right? Clackamas just, they, they take a punch or two from Canis, then come back with five more of their own. Yeah, especially in the second half, it's just been a game of runs here. Camus will go on a run, Clackamas returns, and right back where we started. Big block, they're gonna call the foul, but boy, that was pretty good transition defense. There's a steal, excellent steal there from Parker. Coming in, yeah, just got her a little bit too much on the arm, but still pretty solid effort. Parker hits first. And locks and loads, hits the second. 12 point game. One minute to go here in the third. Man, that's, that's a a tough call on Parker. Kind of holding her ground on the push off on the screen and getting called for a foul on her. That's 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 tough way to 
Tough way to have to play. And now just a little miscommunication from Clackamas on the inbound. They throw it right out. Avery Peters has put a little bit of pressure on Kira Thompson here. Maybe wanted to get them back for that uh, stolen inbound pass from the end of the first half. Looking underneath, eh, couldn't quite get it to her, not enough time. Addison Harris was open down low. Good feed to the wing, nice high-low play. Swing to the near side, Sophia Buzzard kicking it back over the top. Hands in the lanes for Clackamas. Feigns it, reverse layup, right hand inside out. My goodness. <laughs> oh, that might have gotten missed. Parker Mayers had a nice little nudge there. Jazzy Davidson with the left hand, but she had a nice little nudge and got a little battle brewing here between Parker and Roden. One Just second on the clock. Deep three Just corner. a little deep. Three quarters in the books. Clack was 57, Camus 45. On the replay here, this is such a smooth move. Right here, whoop, up and under. Look at that little, little ball fake, just froze everybody on Clackamas. Just comes right in, like I'm gonna give you the fake, everybody's up, wait, what? And then I'm gonna keep going up and under with the righty. Three quarters in the books. Fourth quarter set, eight minutes on the clock. Clackamas on top, 57 to 45. Take a second here and thank our supporting sponsors, the PIL Foundation. The Portland Interscholastic League Foundation is built around generating resources to support athletic and academic success for students enrolled in PPS schools. One in three PPS students participate in athletic programming with the PIL, and for many of those students, that sport is what keeps them engaged academically. The program has grown from 5,500 students when they started over 15,000 a day, with the largest areas being increased participation in female student athletes, as well as increased opportunities for lower income students, as we continue to see the barriers lowered to participation in organized sports, which is the mission of the PIL Foundation. You gotta generate those funds to support the ever-increasing participation of the students in athletics to keep them engaged in school. Big, big thanks to the PIL Foundation. Eight minutes on the clock, fourth quarter action getting set and underway. Cam is gonna need to come up with some kind of answer to the Clackamas defensive puzzle. Deep. Outside, three is good, and Parker Mares makes it a nine-point game. Camus just kind of hanging around. Yeah, Camus again closing within 10 points here. Getting it on the ground, jump ball opportunity. Long outlet pass up top, collected by Reese Mogul. Feed inside, step back, reverse, just not quite enough. Great board crash, Allie Roden slipped in there, no one boxed her out. Picked up the offensive rebound. Second and third chance opportunity today for Clackamas have been a plenty. Jazzy from outside, a little bit too strong on it. Another offensive board. Mm, boy, that's a tough call underneath there on Addison. That's two on her that have been a little bit rough. But, man, I'll tell you what, Allie Roden flying in out of nowhere multiple times here. Yeah, just timing it up perfectly, getting in there, grabbing the boards and getting out, helping her team out. Camus bringing it up, 
trying to work on this run here. Brought it within 10 once again. Long three, just a little bit soft. Deep pass into the corner to Mogul. Mogul trying to take a baseline, find a little bit of room to work. Up off the glass, not quite there. Parker Mayer's big defensive rebound, super important one there. Cannot give Clackamas any second chance opportunities. And another three pointer. Another three, looking to get a bulk of it back. Nice and follow gets by her own Addison. Board, puts it back in. Here comes Clackamas within, or sorry, Camus within seven now. Might have been a charge there. Charge on Jazzy. Replay coming at you. It's good, just hustle. Misses it. Crashes the board. A little bit delayed. Gets her own rebound. Buckets. And then manages to draw the offensive foul on Jazzy on the other side. So, plot thickens. Clacken is up by seven. Camus another three. Almost. Big rebound over the top. Three oh, again. dirty from the corner. Kiara Thompson makes it a four-point game. Clackamas is going to take a timeout now. So here's the big turning point after that follow-up. Bang, right there. Addison, Jazzy running through, kind of turns her head, doesn't really notice, and just train wrecks with Edison Harris who draws the offensive foul. Jazzy's kind of like, uh, whoops. Didn't really realize she was there. And then Camus making it a four point game. Pretty interesting here late with 544 to go. Yeah, the energy from the Camus bench is probably the highest it's been right now since the start since of the, the first game. quarter, absolutely. They are trying to generate some kind of a comeback here and trailing by 14 at one point, now down by four. So the heavy lifting has been done. Now they just got to keep it within a possession or two of Clackamas. Give themselves a chance. Nice, nice off ball movement and the blocking foul. Great off ball movement and cut to the hoop by Ryan Mogul. Mogul hits the first of two. The off ball movement here, you see Mogul coming in from the left-hand side of the screen right across and late on the slide and with the foul. Mogul, great job drawing that by being super aggressive. Makes it a six point game again, 527. Thompson going at the rack, rolls it in, Kara Thompson. Got a step. I think it's those purple pink shoes. Jazzy on the baseline, a little bit short. Thompson with the rebound, chance to pull it within, well, one or two here, depending on how it goes. Under five minutes to play. Taking things slow, figuring out their options. Addison going right at the hoop. Going to get the no flop and a blocking foul on Jazzy on the backside, so... Yeah, Jazzy went for the steal there. Got a little out of position and kind of just never recovered until the foul. So Addison coming in. I mean, got to give her room to land and the block on the back. So tried for the offensive charge, not quite. Addison misses the first. Big free throws here. 440 to go, 59-55. Second one rolls out. She gets her own rebound, though, and goes up, and that one falls out. 
third chance opportunity. Camus. Yeah, nine lives. Papermakers apparently made a cat. They just don't seem to want to go down. Addison, big shot, gets her own board again. That one, oh, yep, it's going to go right off the foot of Avery Peterson. She didn't see it. You can tell Camus just a little boost of adrenaline as they feel they can really get back in this game here, and they are really, really working for it. Feet on the backside, layup is good. It is a one possession game. Clackamas 59, Camus 57. Jazzy Davidson coming near side to Reese Mogul. Wide open opportunity, slow on the rotation over the top. Parker Mayers knew it too. She even put her hand on her head. She knew that slow rotation over the screen was going to cost her, and it did. Big three. Clackham's back up by five. Wide open layup underneath, three-point game. Clackamas, a little miscommunication. Making them pay for it, Camus is. 3.20 to go here. Oh, and a turnover. Let's watch that three-pointer one more time here. You can see this on the, just a little bit of a lazy kind of screen there, and Mayer's got hung up. Missed it. Three-pointer. Oh, let's just watch that one more time. I, I like that. I like that play. Let's watch this thing all the way through here. Sarah Barhoom is just kind of floating to the corner. Parker's got her eye on the ball. She's coming over a little bit late, and Jazzy just kind of gives her a little bit of a rub right there, and she knew it right already. She's like, I knew it. It's too late. Barhoom. Buries the three. Right when Clackamas kind of needs it most, Kellen, 62 to 59. Yeah, this is most definitely a game now. Close the gap all the way to within one possession. They have the ball. Take a timeout, figure out what play you're running, and hopefully make something happen here. 315 left in, I'm going to say left in regulation. We haven't had an overtime game yet. I will happily take overtime, though, if we can get it. Live from Franklin High School with the Pacific Office Automation Holiday Classic. This is game four of our six game feature today. Game 10 overall already. Doesn't feel like 10. These games today have gone by pretty quick. Everybody getting in the rhythm and feeling the flow in day two. Coming up after this one, whenever this one ends, Sierra Canyon taking on Jesuit at 6.30. But not yet. Right now we got papermakers looking to potentially tie it up. They trail by three. I don't know what she was thinking about. Riley Sands There's kick to the, the outside. Three. That's a short one. The Ew, offensive rebound. Addison Harris the with the board. Brings it within one. Harris unaccounted for. Second chance opportunities that were going Clackamas' way in the first half are now all going Camus' way here in the fourth quarter. An open three-pointer. Good look, looking to answer, not quite it. Oh, oh, and a little bit of a car wreck there on the baseline, no call like that. Let him play, let him play. I mean, Camus actually has an opportunity to take the lead. No look underneath, get out of town. Are wow. you kidding me right now? That was dirty, dirty from Kiara Thompson. My goodness, Camus goes up by one. All right, got a little work to do here. Two plays ago, three ball, a little short, crashing the boards. Addison Harris with the big bucket picking it up. We'll take a second here. I'll get that replay queued up, I promise. That was absolutely filthy. And Camus goes up by two with 2.14 left 
in the fourth. I don't care what happens in this game. That is the play of the game right there. My goodness. That was, wow. Oh, my goodness. Answered. Big three. Clackamas again. But it might just be for now. Up and, and under, Addison is. Harris. Come on now. You're just tuning in. Camus was trailing by 14 at one point in this half. Oh, gets you some right back up by two, Clackamas. This is the game we were expecting to see. 68-66, Clack on top of Camus. 90 seconds left. Ah, I'm going to have to do a lot of work here. Somebody needs to call a timeout so I can run some replays. Thompson on the layup. Can't quite get there. All Camus right. keeps the ball. This might be the dirtiest play you'll see all tournament long. Coming across. Uh, get you some. That was awesome. Let's back that one up. They're going to give us a chance here. I appreciate that, officials. Take a little bit extra time. This one deserves a double. Coming down the middle. Uh, no. Yep. Under. Good. Go. Back to live. Inbound opportunity. Canis. And that one's going to pop out. i got to work these in where I can, Kay. Answer the other side. Deep three buckets for Ryan Mogul. Clackamas here. Have an opportunity to move it out of a one-possession game. Up by two with the ball with about a minute left. In no hurry, Camus. Getting close to, to a must foul situation here. They start yeah. running out of time. Oh, Just push off there. They're going to give it offensive. Yep. Yeah, I I know Mogul's upset about that, but that little bit of extension was a little bit too much. All right. Addison Harris here a couple plays ago for Camus. Look at this. Just drive, penetrate, fakes the pass. Boom, right on Jazzy. Puts it in. That was her fifth foul, too, so Mogul out for the remainder of this contest. Now, got to go back. One more replay here. We're trying to get all these caught up. Answer. Clackamas. Three ball from Barhoom, which has given them the 68-66 to 66 lead. But then the big play from a second ago here on the drive. Watch the forearm push off here. That little bit of extension, they called her on it. Kendall Mayer is pretty pumped up. Ryan Mogul, the opposite of pumped up. They just yeah. called her on that extension. I mean, for what they've let go, I'm surprised that one ended up being a call this late. Ooh. Okay. So. For the kiddos watching at home, the youngsters, you want to win tight and close games. You have an opportunity with a one-on-one -on -one here with 27.7 to go, trailing by two. This is why you practice your free throws. She drills the Buries first Buries the first, absolutely. Makes it a one-point game. Kara Thompson. Ice water in her veins. She is something else. So Clackham is going to take a full timeout. Yeah, about 30 seconds left. So Clackham is. Assuming the free throw is made, probably want to try and hold for the last shot and put something up. Otherwise, we're headed overtime. I'll take it. We haven't had one yet. I love me some OT. OT is the best thing ever. Yes, it is. Makes our day a little bit longer, but that's okay because you know it's going to be good.
players coming back onto the floor here to shoot one more free throw. Rolls it in. Tie game, Kellen. Yep. She makes the second one, and now we got to see what Clackamas' plan is here. Baseline drive. Yep, going to go the other and way. She had her feet planted. Another offensive foul called on Clackamas here. So flip the script. Going to get a second chance here to close it out. Camus will. Baseline, stepped over, got there, and I'm, I mean, it's close, tick, tick, one, two, but it's that little bit of shoulder drop they've been calling all tournament long. They just don't want to see that drop of the shoulder. And sometimes you just got to, you got to play to what they're going to call, right? Yep. So fouling out Sarah Barhoom, that's a big, big deal because she's a huge part of this Clackamas closeout hitting big threes. Yeah, for sure. And if we do go to overtime, Clackamas will be missing a couple of players. Yep. Baseline underneath. And up and under. Is good. With no time left, the game is over. The game winning Camus. layup. Game winning layup at the buzzer. You've got to be kidding. Unbelievable. I, I mean, what a comeback. Camus wins it 70 to 68. And the final play, what great execution of the play. They set it up perfectly. They got the look they wanted. Everything just as timed. They walk away with the Right w. at the buzzer and look at that. Just pure joy on the face of Kendall Mayers. Great pass, great play. Gonna go all the way back. My goodness, we'll pull up that from another angle here. I mean, what can you say about that play? You just got to watch it for yourself. Lower court angle. Good exchange up top. Baseline, back door. Game winner. Bring that one back one more time here. Got a little bit of time before the next game starts. Got to reset and reload a couple things. But at the buzzer, game winner. Excellent job here. Clackamas eyes up on the ball and just sneak it in the backside. There she goes. Number two, Kendall Mares with the reverse layup, and it's over. Wow. Comeback of the tournament. Headed to the finals. Camus Papermakers. I mean, we just couldn't have asked for a better game. That was a perfect game. Unbelievable, unbelievable comeback. Excellent game from both sides, too. Clackamas for played sure. nearly for flawless. Sure. You got to feel for them. That's a tough way to tough way to lose one. At the end of it, though, 70 to 68, Clackamas putting it to bed almost, and then Camus coming back with the game winner at coming, the buzzer. Coming back from the dead. Getting the win. Unbelievable. We're going to reset, reload, get set for game five here coming up at 630. We hope you do the same, and we'll see you back at Franklin here shortly.